Creating Spider-Man's web shooters is gonna be one of my most challenging builds yet, but I know that it can be done. <laughs> it's working! Uh, assuming that I don't injure myself too much in the process. Today I'll be testing the polycarbonate grappling hook. I also have this really janky ass prototype, but I think it will serve its purpose to at least coil up and cast out the line. So we have a little bit of a compressed gas here. Now I'm sure that you've all seen this part of the Spider-Man movie trailer. Here we go. Good evening, Peter. Oh. You have 576 possible web shooter combinations. 576 web shooter combinations? That's freaking epic. Can you come up with any ideas for really awesome web shooter combinations? Leave a comment below. I really would love to hear what you have to say. And if I finish this basic grappling system Spider-Man web shooter, then I'll actually look in the description and start building some of your suggestions. That'll be really awesome for your ideas to be made in real life. Now the program that I use to model and CNC cam all of my parts for gadgets is called Autodesk Fusion 360. Now the best part is this is a free software for students, makers, and startup companies. I'll leave a link in the description of this video for you to download a free trial of Fusion 360. And if you wanna check out Boxy, it's a really awesome machine. I get a lot of use out of it. It's what they're calling a desktop maker space. And I can always post some tutorials later on, but for right now, I'm just gonna show you quickly how this was done.
So we have this beautiful harness. Hi, puppy. <laughs> like uh. All right. So it, it'll work. Like I said, it's a prototype. It's crappy. I'm using a freaking red solo cup as like the spindle for this thing. And I'm loading up a new cartridge. So essentially everything's gonna be in one complete package. We're gonna have one shot per CO2 cartridge or maybe a couple depending on the distance we've been shooting. All right, so. Okay. <laughs> mechanism on my hand. I'm working on that. Hi, film a YouTube video. Anything good happening? Um, I'm, I'm gonna see if this grappling hook is gonna be able to hold my weight. It's made out of polycarbonate. <laughs> <laughs> it's working! <laughs> well, it worked for a second. I love the taste of that asphalt. Woo! <laughs> what? Woo! Wait, okay, so I'm like two, two inches off the ground. It's actually not bad. This is amazing. So what I'm thinking about doing is having some sort of locking mechanism so that I can actually grab the rope and lock it in there. And the tension from the string will be based on the harness. I'm gonna have to worry about breaking my hand. <laughs> yes, that's perfect, yes. All right, can you grab it, can you get on? We got hold. Wow, that was insane. Now I just need to find a building to jump off. Yes, and then hopefully don't die. All right, so for those of you who are wondering, this is a CO2 bike pump. I'll leave a link in the description for all the parts. This here is from one of those expandable batons that I had before. Just so happens that this acrylate rod fits in there perfectly, creates a really nice seal, and then I'm able to have that fire off. For a really, really quick and dirty prototype, I think this works. Obviously, I'm not proud about using a solo cup, but the idea is to have about 20, 25 feet of Kevlar rope, and then basically have that in a cartridge, similar to how a taser works, and how that round basically will unwind in a sort of rectangular fashion. But that's going to be formed in a 3D printed design going over top of the barrel. And I actually have some designs on my Patreon for people who want to get a little bit of a closer look behind the scenes on my sketches and how I sort of come up with the ideas. It's not really too exciting to go through that process on video, so maybe you can think of a way for me to go through the design process with you and create a, a different day of the week where I'm uploading. And, or maybe it could be a live stream where we could brainstorm. You can see that this grappling hook has held up pretty nicely. You have a little bit of some deep scratches and areas where it fell and it hit the concrete, 
But other than that, this thing can definitely be used again and I was really surprised to see that this works so well. Really impressed. And the rope looks like it's in pretty good shape too. So next time I'll be showing you hopefully a new type of launching device. I'm thinking about making something stupid solo cup thing. So the idea would be to have some sort of system that would allow me to put two of these bike pumps. The air would go into some sort of 3D printed T that I could make and allow me to basically pull back my hand and there'd be some sort of system that would allow this to press down. So I think that that can be accomplished for sure. This is going to come out nicely. I'm really excited for this movie release, especially with Iron Man being involved. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy.